So in the last video, all of you made me realize, you know what, I actually am a dummy. But you know what, you're a dummy too, that's why you clicked on this video. In today's video, we'll be going over team building and everything you need to know about synergies in Honkai Star Rail. Let's get into the video. So Toshi, what is team building? Now, let's break it down here. For instance, the name for my team here is Brawny. So I want to build a team surrounded around Bronya. So what I would do is get, first of all, obtain the character. I don't have Bronya right now, but let's put a picture of Bronya here. Boom, I have Bronya. Now I want to have characters that kind of are enhanced by maybe Bronya and what she does, or characters that, you know, make Bronya even better. So then I would put a character like Seal. So I'd have Bronya, Seal, and then, then I need two characters that can, you know, support these two and make these two even better. So then I would put another character like Team Yoon, and then I'd put another character like Asta in the last slot. So I have a couple teams here, and we're going to go over each team and explain the synergy behind the team building process. The first one is the counter team. This features a team that is built solely on making sure that Clara has the counter attacks. In the last video, you all mentioned to me that March 7th increases the counter chance for Clara if the shield is on here. So we have March 7th in the team. We have Clara. We have Natasha is going to be a healer. And then we have Toshi or the Trailblazer main character who is also going to enhance the team. So if we take a look at Clara's kit, she actually has a built-in counter right here. If she is hit by the enemy, then she will counterattack. And then her ultimate, whenever she presses the ult, if the ally is hit, then she will have an enhanced counter. And this is up to two times. If we take a look at the E skill of March 7th, she provides a shield to the ally who she clicks it on or puts it on. So you are able to press the skill and put the shield on any character you want. In this instance, you put it on Clara. And this would enhance the chances of the enemy attacking that ally. So effectively, you would have Clara constantly counterattacking, assuming she has the shield March 7th provides. And this does not take into effect AoE damage. If there is AoE damage from the enemy, then every single character here will get hit. But that's why we have Natasha. Natasha is here to fill in the gap of, well, let's just say the enemy has AoE. Attack on everyone damage. And so Natasha has heals. She's a healer. So you would use a character like Natasha or a character like Bailu who also heals. But Bailu, in my opinion, is better because she has a revive just in case your Clara dies or any other character in your team also dies. <laughs> Natasha has a E skill that has healing for the ally she puts it on. And then she has an ultimate that heals all the allies on the team. And she also has continuous healing, which is a buff effect. So let's start from scratch. I want to build a team around the counter for Clara. So first character we have here is Clara. Now we need to find a character that has a shield or a way to enhance Clara's performance. And that character is going to be March 7th. So now we have Clara and March 7th. And these characters both enhance one another. March 7th gives the shield that Clara needs in order to have a higher chance of being hit. And once Clara is hit by the enemy, then she comes in and counterattacks and does huge nuke damage. Now we got to find another character that would enhance these two. So the first character that comes to mind is Natasha or any healer for that matter. The reason why I say is Natasha is because let's say March 7th shield is not strong enough for your Clara. Your Clara will take damage. And that's not too anything to be worried about or actually does have built in damage resistance, which is 16%. It could be higher whenever you you upgrade her ult. And also, this is very important to keep in mind. Natasha also removes a debuff from one ally so since your clara is going to constantly be getting attacked by the enemy you're going to need to remove a debuff the enemy places on your clara so this instance i have natasha to press e on the clara and then whenever clara let's say gets taunted by the enemy which is a debuff then Cla natasha can come in and remove the debuff from the clara with the e skill and everything will be okay surely no now, jokes aside, the fourth character I would have here to enhance the performance of Natasha, March 7th, and Clara. We need a character here that can provide some energy of some sorts, but also enhances the overall team performance. Now, there is a couple characters that come to mind. Unfortunately, I have a very limited roster, so we're going to put in the Trailblazer main character for now. Or you could put in a character like Asta, who also enhances the overall team performance and has a different element. From the characters you're already using currently but we're just going to go ahead and put in the toshi main character one thing to note is another character that could actually benefit from march 7th is also yang ching he does increase damage with his e1 constellation whenever the enemy is frozen 
and March 7th freezes the opponent with her ult. Now this is something to take into consideration because Clara would be taking all of the damage from the enemy, assuming the enemy has only single target attacks. So you can come in and you can bring a character that does damage and not have to worry about that character getting hit by the opponent. So now we went over the counter team. Let's try a new team. So I have a team here for AOE wave clear, and this is going to be the team I want to use for farming in the game or to just have a team around where I need to clear a bunch of enemies and they're usually like smaller mobs. So maybe a bunch of hill trails, for instance, that's the only way I could put it. <laughs> so I need another character to enhance the performance of Himiko. So Himiko does AOE fire damage, but then I need another AOE damage dealer to also do AOE damage. So I'm going to put in Herda. Herda is the character that comes to mind because she also does AOE damage and she is enhanced by the performance of Himiko. And these two have very nice synergy with one another. So now if we take a look at Herda's passive, whenever the enemy's HP falls below 50%, Herda will come in and swing and do her crew crew attack I, I tried to say that the best way i can and deal nice aoe damage on the opponent this is very important to keep in mind because himiko has a lot of aoe damage himiko has a lot of nice aoe damage and depending on the amount of enemies on the field that is less than 58 percent hp herda will come in and swing for every single enemy that is less than 50 percent so there is showcases of the every single enemy on the field five enemies having less than 50 percent and Herda will come in and swing her hammer five times in a row and do nice AoE damage. Now that we went over our two main damage dealers for the AoE team, we need to fill in the gaps with two characters that will enhance the performance of Himiko and Herda. So the first character that comes to mind is a character like Ting Yun. Ting Yun boosts the attack of an ally via the light code, but you can change the light code to something that is more fit for the team. So I'm going to take the three star weapon chorus, which is a nice attack boost for every ally by 12% at max constellations. It is a three star, so you'll get this relatively easily in the early game. So as I said before, Ting Yun increases the attack of the ally she uses the skill on. In this case, we would put the skill on Himiko, but we'll go over that after we go over Ting Yun's kit. And once that ally does an attack, they will do additional lightning damage equal to 24% of their attack when hitting enemies for three turns. This is going to be very nice because this is an extra bit of damage you might need in order to get the enemies to less than 50% HP. Ting Yun's ult gives 50 energy to a target ally and increases the target's damage by 28%. This is going to be very very crucial into the team whenever you use Himiko and Herda. So now that we have Ting Yun in the team, we have a character that's going to be able to support both Himiko and Herda and this playstyle overall. Now we need one more character to fill in the gap that will enhance the overall team performance of all of these. Now a character that comes to mind is Asta. Asta provides an AoE speed buff to the whole team which is very very valuable whenever you're doing any type of content where you need to constantly be attacking the enemy. However, if you are lower on HP or you're going to be tackling harder content, then I would replace Asta with a healer such as Natasha. We're going to use Asta because we're going to be doing AoE farming with this team. So we're going to put this three star light code on Asta, which gives energy to her whenever she uses an attack. This is going to be very crucial because we constantly want to use Asta's ultimate, which increases the speed of every ally on the team. You give a speed buff which increases the speed of all allies by 37, and this can be upgraded whenever you upgrade the ult, and this can be for two turns. Ting Yun, a character with very high base speed, is going to benefit greatly from having the speed buff that Asta provides, so Ting Yun is constantly going to be able to give an attack buff and a damage buff to Himiko, who's going to come in and do a lot of AoE damage and clear a lot of the mobs on the field, and then Herda is going to come in and swing and pretty much finish the job. And this is what I call the AoE wave clear team. So I want to build a team around single target damage dealing. And the first character that comes to mind is Zen Hang because he's a nice free to play option. Now you would use characters like Den Hang. You use another character like Seal. But we want to build a team surrounding Den Hang and any other single target damage dealing character. Now we need a character that pretty much enhances the performance of Den Hang. And this is going to be a character that can pretty much boost the attack of that said character. Ting Yun, Branya are two choices you could use. Since I do not have Branya, we'll be using Ting Yun. Now I need another character that can enhance the performance of Den Heng. He's going to be our hyper carry character, the character who we build the team around. The next character that comes to mind is Asta, because Asta increases the speed of the team overall. 
And if you have the speed lower on the enemy, then Den Hang and everyone else on this team is pretty much enhanced because you'll be faster and the opponent will be slower. Now we need one more character. Another character that is very reliable in case Den Hang doesn't have enough, let's say, effect hit rate to land the debuff on the enemy, so the speed reduction. In this case, well, the team is called Missing Well. You would put Well in this slot, but unfortunately I don't have him. <laughs> I think Bronya might be the best choice to have because Bronya and Den Heng are the same element, which means the energy funneled to Den Heng would also be funneled to Bronya, so these two would be able to support each other. So you would be able to use effectively Bronya or Well, and if you have Well and Bronya, this team will be even better. Okay, so this is going to be the perfect run we could do with the team. So we're going to give the attack buff to the Himiko. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the single target attack here. Herda comes in, swings her hammer. Comes in and swings again. Himiko also has a hit and they just die. <laughs> Before I can even finish my sentence. So the rotation there is kind of sloppy, but Himiko and Herda both complement one another. So next up we have the counter team. This is gonna be the team that is centered around supporting Clara. So Clara is going to be the one doing most of the damage and then the main character or any other damage dealer in your team would also be doing damage. So you need March 7th to go first in your team so you need her to be really fast. This team shines against a character like Bronya who does a lot of single target attacks who is also a boss you would fight in the game. So to start off the fight because we want the enemy to hit Clara we're going to press E skill and this increases the chance of Clara getting hit whenever we start the fight. Now. Whenever we do start the fight, we want to go ahead and give the E shield to our Clara right away so that she gets hit by the enemy. And then we'll go ahead and do fluff damage here. Main character doesn't really have the best gear or any gear at all. And uh, the enemy is very, very slow, but we do have the shield from March 7th, so we should have a higher chance of being attacked. Counter, counter, and they're pretty much dead from the residual damage. Another counter. Now we're going to go ahead and press the E skill on our Clara again. This gives her another shield. We're going to go ahead and use our Natasha right away because we want to remove that decreased defense. You see this here? Get this off my Clara. Her defense is reduced by 50%. This is horrible. We need to get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead and use our main character. And then we're going to use our E skill from Natasha on our Clara. And if we had the talent activated or the passive activated, then we would remove the debuff. But, you know, Toshi doesn't have it, so it's still there. Oh. But pretend it's gone. Now we press the ultimate on our Clara. And then Varg comes here and saves the day. And then we can pretty much just do whatever with the team. And then the enemy is going to constantly attack Clara. Now we can go ahead and give another shield to Clara. And we can rinse and repeat until the enemy is dead. Or you're dead. D depending on how hard the content is. <laughs> I'm going to put this in auto now. That's pretty much the gist of the counter team. Oh. Okay. Sometimes it, it, sometimes it doesn't work, okay? It depends. It really depends. There still is a chance for the enemy to not hit Clara. That can still happen, but it does increase the chance of her getting hit. The cool thing is, however, when an ally is attacked and Clara has her ultimate activated, then she will counter up to two times. Okay, now to start of the fight, we're going to go ahead and use the E skill of our Tingyun. Then we're going to go ahead and use the E skill of our Asta. Or you could use Den Hangs, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna use Den Hangs instead. Give another attack boost, and then we'll use the E skill from Asta. Now we can give the E to Den Hang. And then we have the ult, so we'll go ahead and use the ult right now. We'll use on Den Hang. This is the character we want to funnel all of our resources into. Now we need to land our slow. This is very important. We're gonna go ahead and hit the middle guy. We killed. That's pretty sad. Okay, let's give the E to Den Hang again. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> now we'll go ahead and use the E slow on the boss here. 
Cool, the boss is now slowed. So whenever we get the ultimate for Den Henk, we can go ahead and use the ultimate on the boss for nice single target nuke damage. We're going to go ahead and do the single target attack on one of the enemies here. We're going to go ahead and use the speed boost. Boost up the speed of the whole team so we move faster. We should move before these two enemies here. Our team Yun should go before. Okay, she does not. Which is okay. Now we can give the E buff to Den Heng. We're going to go ahead and give the damage buff to him also. This increases the energy he gets. Now he has his ultimate. Yeah, he still has a slow. So we're going to go ahead and use the ultimate. This should do increased nuke damage because he has a slow. And this should kill. 5k damage. And this is the power of the hyper carry team. This is going to be the team I use the most in Honkai Styro because it is pretty strong. <laughs> and we can pretty much just auto the rest. Or maybe die in the process. I think we're okay. I, I think we're okay. Right? Surely. I hope you all got something out of this. This was a very long video. And uh, yeah, I learned something also. Den Hanged is pretty OP, but we made the tier list in the previous video. I will have a link for that in the description. We go over all of the Honkai Star characters and pretty much where they place on the tier list. But thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down in the comment section below and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.